Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Riri, and today is another birthstone collab with Caitlin and the So Jaded palette. All right, beauties, before we dive in, please don't forget to subscribe down below and tap that notification bell so you're notified of future uploads. Also, don't forget about that little join button down there so that you can become a dreamer. We are gonna dive right in. I will tell you what's on my face and then we will get rocking and rolling. This is mine and Caitlin's third or fourth collaboration with the So Jaded palette. Um, if you guys did not see a few months back, I finally discovered the So Jaded palette and I fell in love with it. I love it. And in my video where I discovered it, I was like, hey, if you own this palette, let's collab, reach out to me. So Caitlin and I actually plan on doing a birthstone collab each and every single month. So thank you so much to Caitlin over at CP Fashion Cosmetics. Her beautiful face will be right here. And of course, she will be linked down below. And y'all know what I say. If you go watch her and you are feeling a vibe, you're feeling a connection, you can relate to her, subscribe. It is free for you and it means the absolute world to us. Um, so this month, of course, is October. And the birthstone for October is opal or tourmaline. Um, sadly, there's no tourmaline in here, but there is an opal and it is a pressed glitter. You can see it right here. And I saw a lot of pink tourmaline. So I think what I'm going to do is just go very neutral and then pack the opal all over. And then I kind of went with like more pinky blushes and stuff today. Can y'all believe it? And then I'll use like a pink kind of glittery gloss as well to kind of pull the look together. Um, and happy birthday in advance to all of my October beauties. Thank you, Caitlin, so, so much for doing this with me. If you guys have not checked out Caitlin over at CP Fashion Cosmetics, she is fantastic. She is beautiful inside and out, very supportive of others. Um, I love her content because she's just chill. She is just like you and I are just sitting here talking and having a good time, which is kind of how I try to film my content. Um, and I feel like that. I genuinely feel like I can connect to her. Her videos are a little bit longer, which I also love. You guys know this. She does really beautiful looks. I think she's fan fantastic. We chit chat all the time. So I'm really, really excited. Please go check her out. And again, if you're feeling a vibe, be sure to subscribe. So I am going to go ahead and let you guys know what's on my face really, really quickly. And then we'll dive in. This is going to be probably the easiest look on the entire planet because there's no tourmaline for me to really work with. Um, so this time I'm actually going to talk through. I don't do a whole lot of talk through videos because mama likes to talk and they get too long. But if this does happen to get too long, grab you some tacos and tequila milk and cookies, whatever your preference is, and sit back and relax and enjoy the show. However, if you're still not feeling a vibe, you still do not want to sit down and take that much time to watch me, which I greatly appreciate and I value you and your time. Those three dots right there? Yeah, mm, yep. Just tap those and speed my ass up. So for my primer today, I went with my Becca First Light Priming Filter. This is one of my OG favorites. I have not used it in forever, so I'm trying to use the rest of this up. I went in with my one of my Holy Grail foundations also, the Too Faced Born This Way in Warm and Nude. Went in with my new Holy Grail concealer that I've used the entire summer, my Koki Cosmetics Be Bright Illuminating Primer. This is fantastic. Um, if you're a less is more beauty like myself, you'll love it. If you're full coverage, wouldn't suggest it. I also went in and tested my brand new Wet n Wild, the FM, which I think is like Fantasy Makers, um, little green sponge. Um, I really do like it. I did actually apply my foundation spray and then press it in like I usually do. I actually use it to apply foundation today, y'all. Um, and I really like it. It is really soft, but still has a little bit of kind of firmness to it, which is my preference in a sponge. Um, I do like that I could get really close under the eyes as well. So, and it was super inexpensive. So I wanted to let y'all know about that, that I did get that. On my lips for now, I do have my pumpkin pie lip balm from Morbid Mistress. <laughs> I freaking love this thing so much. Um, and that body butter, y'all, is incredible. I still cannot get over it. If you missed that video, I will link it above, but please go check her out. I also went with my Tarte Nine Ways to Shine, like little cheek palette here. Um, and I used the, I'm trying not to blind y'all, I used the highlight, the really soft kind of mauve rosy blush, and the bronzer that are in here. And those shades are Snow Kissed, Prize and peppermint mocha. So switch it up a little bit on the complexion products. And of course my brows are Urban Decay Brow Blade and Brunette Betty as they've been for a year and a half. Um, so we're going to dive right on in. All right. So I think I'm going to go in first with Rose Quartz, which is just kind of like a soft neutrally taupey shade. 
And again, I'm literally just gonna go very, very soft and very natural in the crease. And then I'm gonna put the glitter pretty much all over the entire lid. And I think I'm gonna smoke out the lash line with, you know, with something else. Again, this is gonna be a very, very easy look. <laughs> If you do have a birthday, again, happy birthday to you. And what excites you more? I'm curious. What excites you more if you're a Halloween fan, of course? Um, Halloween in October or your birthday in October? <gasps> Who has a birthday on Halloween? I want these. So again, just a little soft. I'm literally not aiming for pigment or anything like that. Um, and you can see I have some creasing on my lid. I literally just put my concealer on my lids um, because I know I'm going in with glitter. So I'm not really worried about that. I am now gonna go into Garnet, which is that really pretty kind of wine shade. Like a winey brick shade. And I'm keeping this all up here, you guys. The entire lid part is going to be the glitter. But I love this palette. I really, really, unless something else comes and just blows my mind, pretty sure this is going to be my top palette of 2020. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> All right. So literally, like I said, going to be the easiest, the easiest look on the planet, literally. I think before I go in with the glitter, I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom lash line. This is it. Like this is enough for me. I just want a little something. Um, I actually think I'm going to put my e.l.f. eye tapes on. I want to kind of pull this up a little bit more just because the look is going to be so simple. And then I can kind of clean it up right here if I need to. So I'm going to go in with a slightly smaller brush and go back into the garnet and really, really intensify it and kind of pull that shadow up. And again, not I'm not worried about this, you know, the lid area at all. If y'all hear something, it is my dong, so I do apologize. Yeah, and then I can kind of clean it up when I take the eye tape off. I just wanted a little a little something something over here bless you okay I'm gonna go back into garnet again with my fluffy brush if you have not tried this palette you guys I don't know why it took me so long I think maybe because I've had hits and misses with ColourPop um, their complexion products and stuff I am obsessed with and I love. Their palettes I have not always been the biggest fan of so I was really nervous about this but I will tell you that the quality especially for the price and how many shades you get is fantastic. Um, my only qualm with it is that the pan sizes are a little bit smaller. I typically like a bigger pan size but you know to each their own. Alright y'all we're gonna go into the glitter. I'm keeping the tape here just so that I don't get quite as much fallout down here. I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics Base Booster, and this is just like a glitter adhesive. Um, I just use my fingers. If you have longer nails, then obviously, you know, you would go with a brush if you'd like to. And I'm literally pressing it in kind of the way that I would a shadow base. And I wait just a second. Don't wait too long because you don't want it to obviously dry. But I like for it to get slightly tacky and I'm going to keep my lid, you know, down and like relaxed. Then, very gingerly, I'm going to go in with this little Alomar brush. And I'm going to kind of pick up the glitter onto the tip of the brush. I don't wet my brush or anything like that. I literally go in and I just pick up the brush kind of like I'm using a shovel. Now, I'm still keeping my eye nice and relaxed. Again, my mirror is down here. And then I'm very gently going to bring it to my lid first. And then leading kind of over, I am going to start pressing it into place. For me, this works the best with this type of glitter. Whatever is your preferred method, you do you. And that is it, you guys. Also, if you kind of lean forward in the way that I am, Chances of you getting it actually in your eye 
or a little less because um, that's the reason mama don't like glitter. As sensitive as my eyes are and as allergic as I am to a million different things, uh, glitter in the eyeball is not comfortable. So it's not my preference. But we can't do October without using the opal. Okay, it just wouldn't be fair. And yes, I could have completely cut the crease out, but I like this. I like the sheerness of it. And we're gonna pull this off. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, cool deal, cool deal. I actually, for once, think I'm gonna keep this pretty stark. Y'all know I never do that. And we're actually going to I just want to kind of intensify out here a little bit and I'm going to start carrying that garnet to the bottom lash line. That glitter is really, really pretty. I'm now going into Jasper and I'm going to lightly smoke out the bottom lash line. Just because again, I mean, this is honestly like, a, it's a very simple, basic look aside from the glitter. So I just want to add a little something. And again, I'm going to clean all this up. Yeah, I like that. I think it looks really pretty. Then I'm going to go into my little pencil brush and I'm going to go into the shade Pearl. I think I might mix Moonstone as well. So Moonstone and Pearl. Pop that in the inner corner and kind of meet it with the shade Jasper. Oh yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, too much, too much. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing, Moonstone and Pearl, very lightly. <laughs> and come just at the arch of the brow. All right, I think I'm good where I'm at right now. I am going to clean this up. I literally just take a little bit of concealer or you can take powder on your sponge and then walk it across. I'm going to do this eye and then we will come right back. Short and sweet, guys. All right, beauties, we are back. I'm actually really loving this look. Um, I know pink tourmaline is not necessarily this, but um, that opal is like, it is stunning. I can't wait for y'all to see it up close. Um, I am now gonna go into this little pencil brush. This is a Lorelei Los Angeles brush. I'm gonna wet it and go into diamond, which is kind of that like soft putty-like, almost like, I guess like a super shock shadow. And I wanna go into diamond and just softly press it in just to kind of add to kind of the light reflecting properties of the glitter. Oh yeah, oh I love it. Again, not trying to cover up the burgundy or anything like that, just kind of making sure that, you know, that really pretty light that Opal has in it is being shown. I like it y'all. I like it. I'm also going to take a little bit of diamond. Let's just intensify that inner corner. This is a beautiful shade even just by itself but then it it layers on top of other shadows so beautifully. Um, so we are done with the eyeballs as far as that part goes. Let me get that out of our way. And then I have a little tip for you guys if you are working with glitter. Um, actually a couple of tips. I always keep these little toss away um, applicators. You know, I mean, I do other people's makeup as well. So I literally have hundreds of them at a time. Um, I'm gonna bring a mirror up here. I'm sorry if y'all can see it. There's tons of glitter stuck in my eyelashes. And a lot of times because of that glitter kind of sitting loosely, we didn't pack it in enough with the glue or whatever the case may be, um, that's when it kind of falls onto the cheeks, as you can see right there. And that's when it can fall into our eyes. Also, when we go to curl our lashes, um, add false lashes, add mascara, 
the glitter is going to get kind of stuck in there. So what I like to do is just take the little applicator before I add any product and I'm literally, I'm going to kind of wipe it each time I go through and catch any glitter and I do the top of the lashes as well. But basically, and you guys, I'm looking down. That way if anything falls, it's falling down. It's not falling into my eyes. Um, so it catches all the kind of loose glitters, gets any of the glitters out of our eyelashes. Again, wiping it off if I do get some. And I do the tops of the lashes and the bottoms of the lashes. Um, also, the second tip. If this is really hard for you to get off, that's why I really love oil based, you know, kind of makeup removers, um, like makeup melt aways, like the oil from the Crystal Bitch. I absolutely love that one, but I will take and literally put some on my finger. I will press it across the whatever I'm taking off, but specifically this case, the glitter. I will press that oil into my lid. I sit there for just a second. I wait. I can brush my teeth. I can do whatever else, you know, at the end of the night when I'm taking my makeup off. I then will take a wipe or a cotton swab and go across gently because again, glitter can cut you. That's why I don't typically use it. If there's any residual after you're done cleansing or you just cannot get the glitter off, you can take an eye tape, you can take regular scotch tape, take it and put it on the back of your hand, stick it to the back of your hand a couple of times so it's not so sticky that it's pulling and tugging at your skin because that ages us. We do not want to pull and tug on our skin. So when you see people pulling, you know, to do a cat eye or pulling to do something, Try your best not to do that. It is, it's not healthy for our skin. Um, but take the piece of tape and just gently take it across and then pull it. Take it across and then pull it. Um, and that works beautifully. So we're going to do this eye now. Again, I do the top and the bottom. And I'm, I'm again, I'm looking down. So actually there wasn't that much in this one and then the same thing if there's little glitter particles on my face anywhere I can take this and very softly and guys you're not applying much pressure at all it's honestly just enough to get the glitter particles off of your skin it's not gonna you know interrupt anything or anything like that so now we are gonna curl our lashes and I can put my mirror back in place <laughs> I am going to curl my lashes as I always do. I think curling the lashes makes a big difference in an eye look, um, especially if you're someone like myself and you're not a falsies wearer. I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Opening Act Lash Primer. I like to personally do one eye at a time. I don't like to let this dry all the way or anything like that prior to the mascara application. And then I'm going in with my IT Superhero Mascara. So it's a little sample. And I like to go right in. And coat the top of the lashes as well. And then we're gonna do a little coat on the bottom lashes. I like this mascara. It's just slightly too wet for me. Um, so it sometimes ends up clumping. I'm going to do the other eye. We'll be back to do our lips and we're done. All right, beauties, you're back. Oh, I love it. I think it's so pretty. It's so simple and so soft with just a hint of like the little smokiness at the bottom. I am now going to throw on a little, a little wise. <gasps> perfect, 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 perfect. It's got like a pink base, like the tourmaline, kind of where I was heading for. And then like the really pretty kind of opalescence like an actual opal would have. Oh, I love it. Okay. And oddly enough, opal is one of my all time favorite stones. I love that this is kind of picking up all those different shades the way that a, a natural opal would. So we're gonna get up close and personal. So that is 
it. I hope you guys liked this. I hope that I did October beauties some kind of justice. Thank you again to Caitlin for collaborating with me. Um, I look forward to next month as well. I cannot wait to see your beautiful look. I know you knocked it out of the park. And thank you to you guys. Yes, you. You right. You. Yep, you right there. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and watch me. Your time is so, so valuable and I understand that and I appreciate you so, so much. Happy birthday again to October Babies. I hope y'all like this look and be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties!